let's do a quick demo uh, because you know demo is very important uh, to understand how it looks. So let me first quickly launch uh, Power BI Desktop. So this is the Power BI Desktop uh, 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 UI that is going to be used by the developers, analysts, or anyone to basically uh, create and uh, uh, you know uh, author the reports. You know. So as I said, it offers uh, uh, hundreds of uh, connectors, right? It would be structured, unstructured, you know, or uh, uh, web-based, uh, cloud-based. So if you see, we have different files, Excel, CSV, uh, XML, JSON, you know, databases, you know, from Microsoft uh, SQL Server, Oracle, IBM, NEDSA, you know, Sybase, different, different flavors available. Then if you have any existing uh, data sets, existing data flows in Power BI, you have common data services that is being used in the um, uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Power Automate or uh, Power Apps, you can also consume that. Then they have a whole list of uh, Azure as well, where uh, you have uh, uh, Azure databases, data warehouses, analysis services, PostgreSQL, blob storages and all. Then you have a list of whole online services available here from SharePoint, Exchange, Dynamics, Salesforce, Google Analytics, Adobe Analytics, you know. Uh, so, so many of them are available here. And then we have others where you can talk to the uh, web, online data feeds, Active Directories, Exchange servers, Hadoop, Spark, Hive, uh, uh, RScript, Python script, you know. So, so they have uh, well, well, uh, uh, you know, uh, well-qualified connectors here uh, that can be used for the production deployments. Few of them are in the beta releases. They, they should be, you know, uh, available for the production, you know, in, in, the, in the coming time, right? So you can use any of the connectors here. So I have already uh, bring in some information from Excel and SQL here, just to, you know, cut down the timings to load the data. Uh, so I have, I have connected to Excel and the SQL Server, and I, I, I bought a few tables, few dimensions and facts, and a sheet from the Excel. Right, and these sources you can connect using uh, direct queries, uh, uh, import, and uh, live connect depending on the deployment. So the the, the the very first pane here is called as a reporting pane, uh, where we can draw these visuals. Second is the uh, data pane here we can see our data, right? And the third and most important is the uh, relationship or modeling pane, right? So here, if you see, this is an Excel sheet and these all are coming from the relational database, right? So here you can basically manage the relationship. You can create the hierarchies. You can define uh, what should be the cardinalities. You can define the cross, -filter cross filtration, you know? So all these things can be managed within the modeling pane. And if you have the composite model, you can also define, you know, what is gonna be, which, which type of model you are, gonna, you, you are going to use, right? So these pieces we can al always do here. Then uh, when you go to uh, transform data, that basically takes you to the Power Query Editor. And this is the uh, UI where you will be doing all your uh, uh, calculations, right? All your uh, uh, data wrangling operations. So if you see here, we have transform ribbon here where you can uh, change the data types, you can transpose, you can count, pivot, unpivot, you can split, you know, you can extract, parse, you can apply the statistical functions. You can run a script against this data set, right? All these pieces can be done. And whatever steps you are applying, these all will be logged here. So if you uh, realize, okay, you know, something is wrong, I, I shouldn't be doing that a step. You can always just, you know, uh, delete that step. So you will be back to square one, right? So all these pieces can be done either using this uh, ribbon options here or there is an option called advanced editor. Uh, so here you can use uh, M code uh, that is called as a mashup code. That is the language supported by Power Query, you know. So if you don't want to go with the ribbon, you are good at this coding piece. You can always uh, use this. For example, if you see here, the very first thing I did is was source, right? So here it shows me source equals to excel.workbook, file.contents, the location and the file name, right? So every single operation that you will be doing here in the Power Query editor, every single statement will be logged here, right? Then once you're done with your changes, you can always uh, come here and I'll say close and apply. So whatever changes you made, they all will be applied, right? So let's, let's draw some uh, quick, uh, quick uh, you know, visuals here. For example, let's suppose I want to analyze what is my sales based on the product, right? So the moment you say it will automatically picks up what could be the right visual for it, right? So you can choose that. Okay, then uh, I was talking about some AI infused uh, analysis, right? For example, if I say decomposition tree, right? Now I wanna analyze maybe uh, 
you know, my profit based on various dimensions. Whenever you have a need to do the aggregated uh, analysis based on various conditions, you can always uh, uh, use this uh, decomposition tree. So for example, I wanna say, I wanna analyze profit, you know, based on the uh, time period. For example, I'll say uh, year, quarter, and uh, then I'll say maybe I wanted to have the segments as well, and I want to have the products for each segment, right? So now we have these two mandatory stuff here, analyze what to analyze and explain by what, right? So I'll see profit here. This is my aggregated profit for uh, all the years available in the data set for all the quarters, all the segments and all the, uh, and, you know, all the products in it, right? So when I expand it, I'll, I'll, I'll showcase here. So now it shows me uh, information based on the year, right? So for 2013, I have got this much of profit, for 14, this much of profit, right? When we say go further for the quarter, it shows me that. Now, let's suppose if I say I wanna go for a segment for, so it shows me for uh, quarter three, channel partner segment has got this much of profit, right? And here in the enterprise, we have seen some downfall, right, in the sales or in the, in the profit, right? So this is how you can basically do all these analysis, you know, very easily on, on your fingertips, right? Now, for example, uh, now you forgot to add some visual, you know, there is no visual for that. And uh, you still like, you know, your end user wanted to do some sort of analysis, right? So you can always double click anywhere uh, in the canvas, you know, it will automatically add the Q&A for you, right? So for example, if I say here, uh, profit by, product, sorry, profit by product, right? So it shows me the profit by product, right? I'll say product in pie chart. So it, it shows that into the pie chart, right? And well, there are a lot more things to do here. We can add uh, filters here, we can add slicers, you know, then if you go for uh, the, uh, Options here, we have got bookmarks, we have got the performance analyzer, you know. Uh, you can also configure the securities here. We have various options for securities. And uh, once you're done with this uh, uh, report authoring, you know, the time, uh, the time to publish, you know, it is it's time to publish. So you can always click on the publish button here. I'm already signed into my Power Pay Services account. Uh, you need to have one in order to do that step. So uh, I'll first save this. I'll say PBI Web 1. I saved it and then it will pop up, you know, that publish option and it will ask me where to publish it, right? 